Oh, I totally love it here. Look at this pretty area. Ooh. Nanking cherries. Oh. Yeah, totally just picked a bunch. Um, the lady, the gardener lady walked by and she saw me eating them and she's like, wow, it's so awesome to see people actually eating them. Yeah, she said that hardly anybody thinks that you can eat the Nanking cherries and she had this huge smile on her face. I loved it. It's perfect. Lots of photo shoots today. I actually just got another one, so I'm heading out to that one. But this time I'm bringing um, some treats and I'm going to make some videos for you guys out in the forest. And what else? I'm bringing a book treat, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's one of my favorite places to come and photograph. It's beautiful here. It's a secret garden. It's so pretty. Right now I wish I had a tilt shift lens, but that's okay. I'm like way too dressed up to be walking around out here. Oh, whatever. Alright, so this is where I decided to hang out, um, have my nectarines, and make you guys a little video. Hey friends, Lizzie here for another video. So today I just took a little bit of a walk, um, did my hair, got all pretty, and just it was a day for myself and I think that everyone should do that. They should just have days where they just enjoy being pretty or doing something they really love, uh, a hobby or something like that, just to have a day to yourself and to enjoy uh, everything that you enjoy about life. It's very important. Um, I wanted to do this little video for you guys uh, since I'm out here anyways. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, how I view food, um, not food, uh, <laughs> junk food, how I view junk food and this can encompass all junk food. So we're talking chips, popcorn, um, boxes of pizza, uh, all even vegan junk food, anything, anything that you feel that is, you know, packaged and processed and just stuff that makes you feel crappy. This is how I view it and I hope that this can help some of you. Um, this is a very cool thing that I want to share with you. When I was really little, my parents bought me a puzzle for Christmas. And this puzzle was a puzzle of potato chips because I used to be obsessed with potato chips. Obviously you guys know that I was addicted to Doritos. So that's a, a something that I have always been a fan of. And so they bought me this puzzle. And the bag that the puzzle was in was the coolest bag in the whole entire world. And I have it with, here, with me here. And I want to show you guys. This is the puzzle. This puzzle is actually in a bag that you would use for chips or crackers or, you know, any of the junk food. On the back, they actually have a nutrition label. And it's like, total fun, 100 grams and stuff like that. So this is a puzzle. It's actually a puzzle of potato chips that you can build. This is how I view junk food. So when I go to the store and I'm going down an aisle, say with potato chips, this is what I see. I see bags of puzzles. I see bags of stuff inside. I don't see food. I don't see snacks. I don't see treats. I see this. This is what I see. You know, and it's not, maybe somebody out there can get a little bit of help from that because it's so hard to differentiate between what is food and what isn't food when we have all these craving desires and we just, you know, we grew up eating chips and we want the chips and we want the flavor and all of that. But if you can look at that kind of food, boxes of stuff, pizza, fast food meals, you know, like the... Uh, the little ones that you can stick in the microwave for dinner, any of that, try looking at them like a bag of puzzle. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I found the bag when I was um, unpacking a lot of my stuff and I thought it would be awesome to share with you because I wanted to get across to how I view junk food and fast food and all of that. It doesn't matter if it's vegan or not, it's still not good for us. So I hope that helps anybody out there. Um, if you liked my video, my little mini video, please click like, um, subscribe to my channel uh, for notifications to get more 
uh, videos. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouFood, all at Raw Food Romance, and I'm on Snapchat. This whole video actually is my Snapchat for the day. Um, so if you like this video and what you see, it's kind of how my Snapchat is. So you can go uh, check out that. And till the next video, guys, I love you all so much. <laughs> Fruit on. My hair's in my way. Yes, I can't do two things at once.